assalamu alaikum students as you know we have started algebraic expression today i will show you the second half of algebraic expression before going forward i will firstly make you understand what are expressions and what are the terms so for example if i will write 14x z plus 53y minus 3 remember it contains three terms so an expression may contain a one term two terms or three terms i will give you another example of an expression which contains two terms for example if i will write 23x square y minus 4y cube clearly it contains two terms so after this concept now i will make you understand what is a polynomial so a polynomial what is a polynomial if you will see here i have written polynomial but in two colors poly i have written one color and nomial in another color poly means many and nomial means parts or terms now a polynomial <coughs> i can write here it is an expression which contains one or many terms so i will write one term i will write two terms I will write three terms and then I will write higher number of terms so a polynomial may contain one term or two terms or three terms or higher number of terms but there is a special name for each of the polynomial one term it is known as monomial and two terms is known as binomial and three terms is known as trinomial and after that we have a misconception oh, oh, students say more than three is known as polynomial no 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 all of these monomial binomial trend are known as polynomials then we have higher number of terms which contains more than three terms so that is the wrong concept which we have learned so i will give the example of each of them so remember these are all polynomials for example firstly i will give an example of monomial 7 is a monomial 4x is a monomial then i will give another example of monomial as uh, i will write 3ab square it is also a monomial because it contains a single term after that uh, monomial i will show you the examples of binomial 4 plus x it is a binomial because it is separated by an a plus operator or a subtract operator then we have 3xy minus x it's also a binomial then we have trinomial 3 plus a plus b is a trinomial and after that uh, trinomial we will uh, another example 3cd plus a plus 8 it is also a trinomial and these are all polynomials remember it it is not that more than 3 is known as polynomial then we have higher number of terms I will give its example also 4z plus 9 plus 3x plus y it is also a polynomial but it contains higher number of terms so remember what is a polynomial it is an expression which contains one or more than one terms and remember this always it will help you in the next classes now I will go through the exercise students now even students as you know we have started the algebra expression and we have uh, just completed the half exercise and today I have shown you graphically what is a polynomial and the few concepts about algebraic expressions and now today we will do the second part of our first exercise and in the second half of this exercise we have add the following remember when you have to add the variables remember terms are added which are like terms and unlike terms are not added for example if i will go through the solution of first part a b minus b c comma b c minus c a comma c a minus a we have to add it it means a b minus b c comma we will replace the addition here c a minus a b you have to find the a b it is here a b minus a b it will cancel out b c is minus b c is plus c a is minus c a is plus and the answer is outcome as c students hope you are second question a minus b plus a b comma is replaced by plus 
B minus C plus BC, then comma is replaced by plus C minus A plus AC. I told you which terms are added, which are like terms. A must be added to A. Here is only one A. A minus A is cancel out. Minus B plus B is cancel out. A B, <coughs> there isn't a, any A B. Minus C plus C is cancel out. Plus B C and plus A C. It will be the answer. In that, we have the last question of the first day. So I will show you the following. 4A minus 7AB, 4A minus 7AB plus 3B plus 12 from 12A minus 9AB plus 5B minus 3. Students, today we will complete this exercise. You remember when you have to subtract, when you have to, you have to first write the portion which comes after this because it is saying you subtract this from it means this is the bigger quantity. In case of subtraction, you have to subtract the smaller from the bigger. It means we will write first this 12a minus 9ab plus 5b minus 3. Then we have to subtract and the bracket comes out. 4a minus 7ab plus 3b plus 12. Now firstly before doing any calculation you have to remove the bracket and you have to give the multiplication by the subtraction sign. It means plus minus 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 plus plus minus minus and minus plus minus it's minus, it's plus, it's minus, it's minus. 12a will be added to minus 4a. It means 12 minus 4, it is 80. Minus 9b to ab. It is minus 2ab. 5b to this, it's plus 2b. Then we have minus 3 minus 12, it's minus 15. This is the required answer of this. 12a minus 4 it's 18, minus 9a plus 7a it's minus 2, 5b plus um, minus 3b is 2 and then we have minus 2 and minus. Alhamdulillah students you have two more parts you will do it without any hesitation. If you have any problem you ask me in the comments, uh, any problem you can call me and if you have any problem in the first exercise I am always here. Alhamdulillah we have completed the first exercise of this chapter now in short second exercise any problems you ask me okay assalamu alaikum